questions that I want to raise to you around consumerism, ambition, and the pursuit of happiness. So let's uh, let's think about those for a second. I call this podcast Hedonism, the Enemy of Happiness. And the reason I say that is because I feel that the relentless pursuit of happiness can paradoxically cause the opposite of happiness. And this is where our culture plays into our hedonic adaptation in a very negative sense. So when we look at happiness through this hedonistic lens, we see each pleasure, each reward as a fleeting thing. And our and we are fundamentally left, after every reward, every, every moment of happiness, we are fundamentally left with this deep sense of what next. This in turn becomes a cycle where rather than us being grateful for the things that we receive, for the good things that happen to us in our lives, we get stuck in this restlessness, this kind of malfeasance around what is coming around the corner. What more can we have? At least like a hunger for happiness. And that hunger, that restlessness, invariably doesn't make us happy. And the further danger of this hedonistic mindset is that hedonism often requires us to compare our current state of of existence, our current state of happiness and wealth and everything else, to potential future states. And when we look forward to these potential future states, we're thinking, well, maybe they're going to be more fun than we're having now, you know, which diminishes the experience we're having in the present. And then we attempt to drag drag the potential future pleasure into the now in a horribly comparative way, which just leaves us with this idea of, of everything is only always, ever, slightly out of reach. We are just stuck in this perpetual state of mild dissatisfaction and we're just clambering, clamoring, grasping at the next moment of happiness and pleasure like Gollum chasing, chasing the fucking ring of power. Hedonism tends to leave us in a fairly shallow state as well. You know, we can see, we only have to look at Gollum. Poor Gollum, whose entire life and meaning has